What's up guys, DJ Maniac Mike here for you, and tonight I'm going to be doing a real quick unpackaging review. Uh, this is going to be the piece of dues which was supplied by a fellow member of uh, hookahpro.com, Hio, and it came out around the same time as the last stuff he offered, which was the R. Ross Evening Reward Blend. I had some of the R. Ross, and I did a review on that, and after I did that, I started to watch other reviews and check in some threads, and I noticed this particular tobacco, the Piece of Dews, and um, I started going through some things and, and really couldn't find anything mentioned as far as distribution of it goes. So I contacted Hyatt's partner Adam here in the States um, that does a lot of the, uh, the distribution. So uh, just to see if there was any way of purchasing any of it, if there was still any left. And much to my surprise, he responded saying that he had already sent out a sample package to me uh, a couple days prior to me inquiring about it. So right off the bat, I wanted to just give a very special thanks to Hio and to Adam for including me in on this. Um, everything I've gotten from those guys have been excellent, uh, really what I enjoy to smoke. So. I feel very honored that they thought of me to uh, to send this out to me before I even asked for it. So very very cool in my opinion. So came in a padded, well not a padded, but just a regular envelope. And I actually do have it opened already, guys. But there is a note. and the note states hello Michael enclosed is about 100 grams of the piece of dues which is from the Tunisian town of the same name I was supposed to send it to a friend of Hajo's I'm sorry Hajo's uh, that's one thing um, it is spelled H-A-J-O but I do believe it's pronounced Hajo so anyway but since that person has recently sworn off tobacco for religious reasons I decided to send it to you again very special thanks Depending upon who you talk to, the piece of deuce is either a traditional spice molasses or a jarak, but no matter what you call it, I think you'll find it rather impressive. I recommend that you smoke it from a super chief, since that works the best, but a funnel with a scally mod or a vortex will give you a very good, although not as good an experience. I'd suggest four coals with the super chief and three with the funnel or vortex. Rotate the coals every five to seven minutes to keep it from getting harsh. After placing the red hot coals on the foil, wait a full five minutes before you start smoking. Obviously, you shouldn't hoover anything this strong, and taking it slow and easy is recommended. Since this stuff is extremely rare, smoke it when you have no distractions and focus on the textures and taste. I also will suggest that Assam tea, Iranian bergamot infused tea, or a slightly sweetened iced coffee goes very well with this product. and uh, goes on saying since it is extremely rare a video review would be a great idea since I help distribute this sort of thing to help educate people about traditional tobaccos best regards Adam and um, of course I'm going to do a video review for you I feel completely wrong if I did not so I'm um, going to be getting to that here shortly uh, but for now folks I just wanted to take the time to to give a special thanks to Hio and to Adam As, I'm not going to go too far into you know the cut and the smell and all that because this is just an unpackaging review but I will definitely hit on all those points in the tobacco review itself but for now folks it's your t typical tobacco that you'll get from Hio and Adam it's very black very very wet and very fine cut and it smells heavenly folks hopefully you can see a little bit um Hio and Adam 
really strongly uh, kind of want to get people to realize that smoking hookah is not all about your modern tobaccos, the candy type tobaccos, and that there's other things out there uh, like this, traditionals and black tobaccos, natural tastes, um, and just natural ingredients really. So anything I can do to ever help that cause, I believe in it 100%. That's really what I like to smoke. I prefer this type of stuff over modernized tobaccos any day of the week. So. Anything I can do to help, I'm definitely honored to be a part of. So, for now, guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get working on this and set things up. And I'm going to come back with the tobacco review because I cannot hold off. But just wanted to take the time, show you the packaging, tell you a bit about it, and of course, again, to give special thanks to. Ohio and Adam. So until next time folks, this is DJ Maniac Mike signing out. Smoke on and until next time, see ya.